The past is not what it seems. Secrets buried, truths forgotten. Welcome to Strange History, where the unknown becomes known. The year is 214 BC. The Roman Republic, a rising power in the Mediterranean, has set its sights on the magnificent city of Syracuse. This strategic port on the island of Sicily is a prize worth fighting for. Its location makes it a gateway to the east, a hub of trade and culture. Rome wants it. Syracuse stands defiant. This sets the stage for conflict. Its walls are resilient, its people are resolute, and they have a secret weapon. Archimedes. He is a genius, a man of science and invention. He will turn the city into a fortress of ingenuity. The Roman fleet arrives. Thousands of soldiers, armed and eager for conquest, fill the decks of massive warships. They are confident in their numbers, their training, their superior might. They will soon learn that they are up against more than just stone walls and swords. They are up against the mind of Archimedes. Archimedes, the very name conjures images of brilliant innovation, of scientific breakthroughs that defied the limits of his time. Born in Syracuse, he was a mathematician, a physicist, an engineer, an astronomer, an inventor. He was a polymath who embodied the spirit of inquiry and discovery. His mind was a forge of ideas. He unraveled the mysteries of buoyancy, laying down the principle that bears his name. He explored the geometry of spheres and cylinders, deriving their relationships with astonishing precision. He devised the Archimedes screw, a simple yet ingenious device for raising water that is still used today. But it was in the face of Roman aggression that Archimedes' genius truly shone. Faced with the overwhelming might of the Roman army, he turned his intellect to the art of war, he became the defender of his city, a one-man arsenal of ingenious contraptions that would rewrite the rules of siege warfare. Imagine a weapon so audacious, so unexpected, that it seems to belong to the realm of myth. That was Archimedes' heat ray. It was a weapon that harnessed the power of the sun itself, focusing its energy into a devastating beam of heat. The principle behind the heat ray was simple yet elegant parabolic reflection. By carefully arranging a series of polished bronze mirrors, Archimedes could capture the sun's rays and direct them towards a single point. The concentrated heat at that focal point would be intense enough to ignite wood, cloth and even flesh. Skeptics doubted its existence for centuries, but modern experiments using hundreds of mirrors have proven that such a device is indeed possible. The heat ray was not a myth. It was a testament to Archimedes' understanding of optics and his ability to translate theoretical knowledge into practical and deadly applications. The heat ray was a weapon of terrifying spectacle, but Archimedes had another trick up his sleeve. The claw. Also known as the Iron Hand or Ship Shaker, this mechanical marvel was designed to turn the Roman fleet's own might against itself. Picture a massive crane-like arm extending from the city walls over the water. At its end hung a grappling hook, a fearsome claw of iron and wood. When a Roman ship came within range, the claw would swing out its heavy arm powered by a system of pulleys and ropes. The grappling hook would slam down onto the deck of the unfortunate vessel, piercing its wood and ensnaring it in its grip. Then, with a terrifying crunch of wood and a shower of splinters, the claw would heave upwards. The Roman ship, caught off guard, would be lifted bodily from the water, its bow rising high while its stern sank beneath the waves. Panic would seize the crew as their vessel, once a symbol of Roman might, was tossed about like a child's toy. Section 5. Terror in the ranks, the psychological impact of Archimedes' inventions. The effectiveness of Archimedes' inventions went beyond their physical destructive power. 
They were weapons of terror, striking fear and uncertainty into the hearts of the Roman soldiers. Imagine being a Roman soldier laying siege to Syracuse. You have heard tales of Archimedes, of his strange and powerful machines. One day you see it with your own eyes. A beam of light lances out from the city walls and a ship bursts into flames. Or you watch in horror as the claw, a monstrous arm of wood and iron, reaches out from the city walls and plucks a Roman galley from the water, shaking it violently before letting it crash back into the sea. These were not just machines. They were manifestations of a power beyond their understanding. The Romans, despite their superior numbers and military discipline, were up against something entirely new, something that challenged their very notion of warfare. Section 6 Beyond the Battlefield Archimedes' Enduring Legacy in Science Archimedes' genius was not confined to the battlefield. He was a man of peace at heart, and his true passion lay in unraveling the mysteries of the natural world. His contributions to science and mathematics were profound, laying the groundwork for future generations of thinkers and inventors. He was a pioneer in the field of geometry, deriving the formulas for the surface area and volume of a sphere and cylinder. His work on levers and pulleys established the fundamental principles of mechanics, principles that are still taught in physics classrooms today. And his discovery of the principle of buoyancy, now known as Archimedes' principle, revolutionized our understanding of how objects float. His inventions, too, extended beyond the realm of warfare. The Archimedes screw, a simple device for raising water, found applications in irrigation, mining, and even grain transportation. His inventions were not just ingenious, they were practical, designed to solve real-world problems. Section 7, The Fall of Syracuse. A genius meets his end. Despite Archimedes' best efforts, the siege of Syracuse could not last forever. The Roman army, under the command of the determined general Marcus Claudius Marcellus, eventually found a way to breach the city's defences. After a prolonged siege, Syracuse fell. Legend has it that Archimedes met his end while engrossed in a mathematical problem. As a Roman soldier entered his home, Archimedes, oblivious to the danger, reportedly exclaimed, Do not disturb my circles. The soldier, either not understanding or not caring about the importance of his work, struck him down. Marcellus, upon learning of Archimedes' death, was said to have been deeply saddened. He had hoped to capture the brilliant inventor alive and had given orders to spare his life. The death of Archimedes was a loss not just for Syracuse, but for the world. The Section 8 Echoes of the Past Modern Recreations and the Search for Evidence Centuries after his death, Archimedes' legacy continues to fascinate and inspire. His inventions, once dismissed by some as legends, have been revisited by modern engineers and historians eager to separate fact from fiction. In 2005, a team of engineers from MIT successfully recreated the heat ray using 127 one-foot square mirrors to set a wooden model ship ablaze. While the practicality of the heat ray as a weapon remains a subject of debate, the experiment proved that the underlying principle was sound. Archaeological evidence for the claw is more elusive. However, ancient texts provide detailed descriptions of its construction and operation, suggesting that it was more than just a myth. Ongoing excavations in and around Syracuse may yet unearth physical remains of this ancient marvel. Section 9 Conclusion The Enduring Inspiration of Archimedes The story of Archimedes is a testament to the power of human ingenuity. In the face of overwhelming odds, he used his intellect to defend his city, inventing machines that seemed to defy the limits of his time. His legacy extends far beyond the battlefield, inspiring generations of scientists, engineers and mathematicians. Archimedes reminds us that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit, driven by curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, can achieve extraordinary things. 
His story is a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, the pursuit of knowledge and the power of innovation can prevail. His legacy, like the eternal truths he sought to uncover, continues to shine brightly, illuminating the path for future generations to explore the boundless possibilities of the universe. The past is a shadow we'll never outrun. Thanks for venturing into the unknown with us on this journey through strange history. But this is only the beginning. Stay tuned as we uncover more secrets, unravel hidden truths, and walk deeper into the mysteries that shaped our world. Like, follow and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss what's waiting in the dark. Until next time, stay curious and stay vigilant.